Hey everyone, today we are going to demonstrate how an evil twin attack works, completely safe, using only my own devices. An evil twin attack is a fake Wi-Fi network that looks identical to a real one and can intercept traffic. For this demonstration, everything is under my control. I'll use AirGaddon to create the fake hotspot and to capture the traffic. Remember, never do this on networks you don't own, it's illegal. An evil twin is a type of Wi-Fi man-in-the-middle attack where hacker sets an access point that mimics a legit wireless network. The goal is to trick users into connecting to the fake access point, allowing the attacker to intercept or manipulate network traffic. How exactly does it work? So, the hacker scans for legit Wi-Fi networks and he identifies the SSID or the network names and some settings like security types. Then he sets up the access point which is configured with the same SSID and similar settings. Then users automatically connect to the fake access point believing it is legit. Once the devices connect to the fake access point, the attacker can monitor unencrypted traffic, capture the login credentials, session cookies, or inject ma malicious content. First, I'm going to run the terminal, as always. I'm going to launch it as a sudo. So, when I open the terminal, I type in airgaden, and now you can see that airgaden is starting. Here it will check for essential tools and optional tools and after it checked everything I can just press enter to continue. On this screen I will select the wireless LAN 1 network interface because it supports monitor mode so I need to type the number 6 and it will select it. Now I need to put my interface into the monitor mode so it can send and capture the packets over the Wi-Fi. On this other screen we have much more options, so I need to select set number 7 because it's evil twin attack. On this screen I can see options like evil twin attack with sniffing, without sniffing, so just a X point, but I'll choose the one with captive portal. Captive Portal is a web page that is displayed to a user on a network, such as public Wi-Fi's, before they are granted full internet access. It requires them to authenticate by logging in or accepting the terms of service. So now when I selected the Captive Portal option, the app will scan for the networks around me. And then I can select a target on the next screen. Ok, now on this screen I can see 3 networks and the network number 3 is my target. So I type the number 3 and press enter. Then I get options like DOS attack, DOUT and DOUT uh, with MDK4 attack. I need to select the number 2. It asks me if I want to enable DOS pursuit mode but I will just press no. Also, I don't want to spoof my MAC address and I don't have a handshake file. So now it is going to deout the network, it's going to send deout packages to the broadcast, it's going to disconnect everyone from the network and in my first video on this channel I said how the authentication works and how capturing the handshake works. So when I capture the handshake I'm going to save it and then the app will be able to read the network settings from it. On all these options I can just press enter to skip them and when it asks me which language I want to use I'll select English. Also it asks me if I want to use the advanced captive portal but I'll choose no. Now 6 windows should pop up and they represent the authentication from the original network 
setting up a server that hosts the captive portal website and reading the data that is being sent over the network. So as you can see, my phone automatically connected to the fake access point and now if I open the sign in into the network on my phone and if I enter the password, I should see it on this control window. Also, you can see live updates like if the phone is currently active or if it has access to the portal. And now, when I enter the password and click on sign in, the password should pop up. As you can see, the last password is subscribe to my channel. So guys, please subscribe to my channel and support me. I'm planning to build a big cyber security community, so make my wishes come true. So Captive Portal simulates a fake login page. You can set something like Facebook login or Instagram login. You can use HTTP protocol and if you host that kind of website on network and disconnect someone from original network, it can redirect them to the fake login website and you can steal their passwords. Now, if you want to stop the evil twin attack, you can just press enter in the terminal and you need to shut down the interface or change it uh, from the monitor mode into the manage mode. So now you can just press zero and zero again and it's gonna exit from the script. And that's it for our evil twin demonstration. I've shown you how it works, how it captures the traffic from our own devices and don't worry, we are only stealing our own passwords here. And of course, I stay completely legal. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, share and stay tuned for more cybersecurity videos. See ya!